Hello and welcome to a new video about identification systems. This time we want to read out my fair cards, my fair stuff. Okay, this is our goal. Well, we have a reader in there. Eh? Some of you have soldered on connectors. Some of you need to solder on the connector. Uh, this may be a little bit annoying, but mm, we will need this. If we take a closer look on this reading device, so we have the reading device, we also have two, two different tags, RFID tags. Yeah. So if we take a closer look to the reading device, we can read there SCK, Miso and Mosi. So it's an SPI interface. Obviously there's an SPI interface. Now we only have to know how this SPI interface on our Arduino is working. Yeah, on Arduino Uno, it's on the, on the pins 11, 12 and 13. Okay, 11 is the MOSI, 12 is the MISO and 13 is the clock. Uh, on, on the MEGA, it's a little bit different. There it would be 51, 50 and 52. 51 is MISO, 50, 50 is, ah, 51 is MOSI, 50 is MISO and 52 is, is the clock. Yeah? So we'll simply connect it that way. So I will use the red one at, oh, we'll use it that way. Clock, MISO, MOSI. Clock, Miso, Mosi, orange is clock, clock is 13, so it goes to 13. Mm. Then, next one is Mosi, Mosi is 11, so the red one goes to 11, and then must be 12. Okay, that's the SPI interface now. Miso, Mosi should work. Then we have here written ground and 3.3 .3 volt. And that's easy, right? So 3.3 .3 and ground. I will plug to 3.3 .3 here, power supply and ground here. Okay, and then we still need something. Yeah? We still need a reset and and some other information. The reset is in here between. And the SDA, serial data available, is here. And I will connect them to other input and output pins. The reset I will connect to 9 and the serial data available. So the reset is going to 9. And the serial data available is going to 10. That's it with the hardware setup. Huh? See? Orange, red and, and brown are the SPI, this is the power supply, white and black, and here this purple and grey is the reset and serial data available. Hmm? This is the hardware setup. Now we need to program it. Okay, let's see if this is working. So, let's switch to the computer and program it. So at the computer we need some uh, library which will help us. The device here is called RFID RC522. So there is a library called MFRC522.h. I will install this library here now. Huh? So tools, manage libraries, I will have a look if this library, if I can find this library, my fire RC 
here it is, yeah, 522. Uh, this is the correct device, this library will use, latest version, install it. Installing the library, perfect. Close. The SPI library, I would also, but this is built in. Uh, so I will save now this under decent name. It's now 48. I will call it Rive Rift Rift Id RFID. Okay. Should not press a directory. Okay, RFID. First one is include. I will include now the SPI interface so that we can talk to the to the reader. Yeah, and I will include. Include the new MFRC 522.h, huh? the new library. Okay, library include check. Yeah. Now we'll define this reset pin also and this serial signal pin. Yeah. Define a reset pin. This was on pin number nine. Huh? And then I'm going to define the serial signal pin, and this was on pin, pin number 10. Good, because those things, uh, this library, this MFRC2522 needs. Yeah? Then I will add an instance of this, of this object, MFRC object. Yeah? There I have to give the numbers. Yeah. So now we are creating an instance of, of an, a logical representation of this thing, yeah, of this reader. And then to make it easier for us to handle with keys and so on, this library uh, gives us some data types. Yeah. So there's the MFRC 522 and data type my fair key. Yeah. This is now the key. We talked about this. We need a key to access the bits. Okay. I'll we'll simply call it key. That's it. That, that's my global variables I'm going to use. Now let's come to the setup. Come to the setup. I want to put out the data I read from the serial from the from the reader on the serial port. Okay. I will also start the SPI interface. SPI begin. Yeah. And I have to initialize this is one I need for sure often dot bct init okay now I initialize the the reader and now I write serial print line information ready Please show your card. Now we should see in serial monitor. Okay, we initialized everything and so on. Now I should know the keys of that, at that card. This is already the first tricky part. Since those cards are, are new, I can tell you 
all keys inside this this card are set to so one 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 all keys are set to one okay and since I know this I will fill all keys yeah, to ones yeah. We'll make this is in a for statement and I will call key and the key byte all six key bytes yeah, or seven key bytes I will set to ff once hmm? this should initialize my keys now all my keys are once I can only read now brand new brand new cards. Okay? If I change the keys, I have to remember. Good, that's it. Yeah. In the loop, I will use some buffer. Buffer. A byte buffer, a byte array, yeah? 18, 18 bytes long. Uh, this is the one thing we have. Yeah? Then the status code I also need. Now I want to check if a new card has entered the, the reading field. Okay, so check if new card has entered the reading field. Entered the reading field. So if not. Is new card present? Uh, this is a function or not? Read card serial. Uh, so if no new card is present and I cannot read it or or I cannot read it, yeah, this is actually this is the one which is not that good. Okay? So if I cannot read it, I will simply wait a little bit. And then I will make return. I will simply end the loop. Okay, there is no new card, or I cannot read it, Psst, forget about it. Okay. Good. What follows is now, if I could read it, if there is a new card and I could read it. Okay, so I will write it. Serial print. Yeah. New card. Card found. And I will try to write the ID of the card. So we'll try to read out the number of the card. Let's see. So, with this read card serial and so on, 
we already read out the UID. Yeah? This was already done without us noticing simply. Yeah? But here it is already available and there is also available the size. We said the size of the UID might be different. Yeah? Now we know the size of the UID because the card told us how big the size is. Yeah? And I now want to print out every byte in this UID to the number. Okay. And this is also this one. UID byte I. Huh? And with hex. Of course. Hmm? This is one or two. I will print out the UID. Mark it. Huh? Try if we can compile it. See? Oh, it compiled, it compiled, it compiled. Oh, uh, well, all right, serial dot print line. That's it, folks. And it will stop the communication with the card. And take the crypto. Crypto. Stop crypto. Stop crypto. Not working? You mean PCT stop? Where is the difference? But yeah, I meant this. I meant this. Ah, bit. Of course, there's a difference. Sorry for that. Okay, it can compile. Good. Good. Huh? So let's plug in. Let's plug in. Bim, 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 bim. Download. Com1. Ah, I did not select the COM board. Uh, so I need to tools port com5 it is okay get your okay seems to work open the serial monitor ready please show your card uh, move it also to the left uh, oh you can use this one Hmm. Bring it close. That's it, folks. <laughs> huh? What's this? Okay. Ah, does not look nice, right? This UID, this really doesn't look nice. I want to have it blocked somehow. I want to have it blocked. 
So I'll make a serial dot print. Let's make a difference and then I'll also make 0x. Huh? This is good. Make it before. Let's see how this looks now. The one thing I've changed is this, this one, uh, zero print. Uh, let's see how this is working. Upload. Ready? Your card, please. Uh -huh. Looks better. Looks better. looks better. I will simply also add here now a serial print line and then it should be and then it should look pretty well pretty well okay now we see the UID reading out the UID of an RFID chip. Okay. This is good. This is good. So, what about the other stuff? Huh? What about the other stuff? There is uh, a little bit more information we can print out. Yeah? So, we could uh, we could also print out the, the PC, the, the, the type, uh, selection acknowledge number and so on, and a memory dump of all the memory which is on there. I will do this also here. Uh, so, MFR C522. I will get in, in a data type and I will try to read this. From this card, which has sent the selection acknowledge, okay, from this UID, because if there are more cards, now right now we only used one card, but I want to get the type of the card which is using the sec. Yeah? Then I will print it. Get type name. This simply changes the type here to a readable name. Okay, and we'll write, we'll see what is written then. I'll also write the sec. This one. Okay, 
Let's try it. Let's see. Bring it close. Okay, my fair one kilobyte. Second D was eight. Huh? This one. Also my fair one kilobyte, second D was eight. Okay. Now we know the UAD, we know the type. Okay, let's proceed, let's proceed. Now we want simply to dump the memory, all what is in, this, in the memory, and there also our serial, always serial. There also this, this uh, rivalry gives us the comp gives us a function for this method PECC dump to serial. Okay, just need the address of this. from this UID. Okay. N now I should also get now I should also get the the information. Huh? So ooh, error opening serial port com5. We had this, right? Try it a second time. Ready. Please present your card. Huh? Oh, I'm presenting. Oh! There is data. Make it bigger. Here we see. Okay, we see the access bits, we do see the key number B, huh? set to FFF, we do not see the key A, huh? that's because it's hidden, it is there, it is also FFF, otherwise it would not work. Huh? So, the key A I cannot read, but I tell you, a new card has always FFFF. Huh? And here you see the sectors, here you see the blocks, uh, with the block numbers. Here you see also the UID, 140E, this must be this 140E3F. Uh, this is exactly like we discussed. Uh. Now, we read the whole, the whole memory. Uh. This is, yeah, this is how this looks like. Huh? Now, you know, we use quite a lot of functions of this, of this library. Huh? How can we deal with this? Well, under file, examples, there is, you also find the library somewhere. Yeah. So there is the MFRC, and here you can find examples. Yeah. For instance, read and write. If you open this example, yeah, you see how this is utilized here. Yeah. And you even see, yeah, my program is also based on this. Yeah. So there's also based on this. Out of this example, you could read, you could read out how you maybe read only one particular part of this. Huh? This is one, one thing you could do. Read only one particular part. Or write something back. If you know the correct keys, you can write it back. Yeah? Here in this example, for instance, you can find somehow how this is using. You can try it out yeah? and see if this is really working. 
yeah, and then try to figure out how this is done. Huh? Yeah, basically, I mean, now, after you figure that out, yeah, you can store on this card whatever you like. So this is the nice thing. You can read something out of this card, identify something, and you can even write something back. So if this, if this is somehow in the production process, yeah, you could write exactly, yeah, okay, I painted it black or I painted it blue or whatever. Yeah, just added information to the RFID, and in the end, you know exactly what it is, and this is located at the device. These things here are usually done for access control. You could also try to code an access control. So, look at the URD of this thing and see if you are out to open or not. You can try this. So this, for instance, is how it could look like. Yeah? This is the access control, right now blinking yellow to indicate yeah, I'm ready. Let's see, this key, hmm? oh red, not allowed. This key, yeah? green, yeah? this card here, red, not allowed. This card, red, not allowed. So it seems like only this one has access. Huh? All others not. This is how access control could look like. So there are several things which can be done there. And as it should show you, it is really working. Okay? Radio frequency ID and ID systems. That's it. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.